Shout out. Uh, yeah, that and that. None of that. <gasps> no! No! I didn't mean to sell that! Damn you, trigger finger! Damn it. You balls to you. You stole my fucking drink, you bastard. Come here. No, can't use it. Hey, dude. You look. Shut up. Did I? No, I found that somewhere, didn't you I? Make... Shut up, you fucking swear. Oh, it's not raining again, is it? Just for a fucking change. Yeah, it's Saturday now, and it's still bastard raining. Awesome. You know, it doesn't always rain in England. Just a fucking awful lot. Yeah, it is raining. Definitely raining. Malik, I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find oh, I can't even talk buy him. another fucking drink because I, I punched him out. You know exactly what Man. he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. What you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off. I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize Narcos. in cases with yours. Narcoleptics. Any police, then what the fuck do you want? A simple proposition. I have proof hmm. that shows you Narcotics. That must derive from sleep. I want from you to, to pay sleep. me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. <coughs> you got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Ooh. Unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why's that? <sighs> because the police report was full of inaccuracies, like someone deliberately tampered with evidence. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. <laughs> he said she was clumsy. He said Evelyn was high as a kite. Yeah, you can either go for that one or that one. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? He bored her to death. Like, you're boring me to death. Fists. Baseball bat? No, it's the clock. By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She was fucking whining. She told Just you like she all was pregnant birds and do. you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? I believe you can go for Bell Tower and Lim. Bell Tower. Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run ins with the law, no matter how serious. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! Hello, Fatty! I can't believe this! 10 minutes shit. tea time. I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just. 
What do you need from me? Details. Turn off million fucking credits. Let me hear your side of the story, and then what we'll move on from there. I don't. I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch. She was going to ruin me. I. I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her. I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice! She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to okay, go. Hey. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. None of your goddamn business, Hame Slice. I'm gone. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen. I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so well, where are you? like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You Malik? were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly Fahita. the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local Fahita. media authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to yes, have. Yes, yes, I always now. forget that and make a dramatic exit and then have to sheepishly walk past the dude again. <sighs> Boop. There you go. Da -da -da -da. Hey, what haven't? Oh, say what haven't I hacked? <laughs> it's this fucking one right here. All right, Malik, it's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay. Now again, in. I should make a dramatic Remote exit. Please. Ah, my God. face. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Okay, I shall meet you outside. Although, as I run up to where the quest marker is, you won't be anywhere to be seen. Jensen. Malik. Hello. First, take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what Damn are you doing right. now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is oh, solid. Just, just give me With a minute. And the evidence from the autopsy, just got a cut scene no to get through, and then some more blah blah blah. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. For our friend Lee? Are you facing the hive? Yes, unfortunately, I'm facing the hive. Okay. In three, two. May I look? Just watch. I don't... Sweet. I don't Fuck are you? Boing. Oh my god. Hmm. look. Remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. Right. So, uh, the only thing left to do now is to get to the Taiyung shuttle, which is that quest tracker there, just there. But first I'm going to go and clean up all the uh, dropped guns, because you can't leave guns lying around. That would be irresponsible. So, uh, yeah. Join me when we get near the shuttle, I guess. I need to feed my cat as well. She's getting a bit uppity. Fucking women. <laughs>